Good evening, folks. It's LB back again with another uh, war attack uh, going against uh, the uh, number six base of uh, the opposition in, in our first war attack. And this is not a very well developed um, Enlightenment Age base, in um, my opinion. Um, looking at the base, um, I really don't like the design of the base very much because the uh, town center, for instance, has no real access to um, roads that will help to improve uh, the strength of the uh, town hall, so it'll go down a lot faster. That's, that's one thing. The other thing I don't like is that um, it's relatively accessible with one wall to get through, and those look like um, level seven walls or, or maybe level eight, but um, they're accessible with uh, um, one uh, one sapper, hopefully. Um, and uh, the the wonders that have been chosen: Terracotta Army, the uh, Taj Mahal, and um, the Stonehenge, these are all economic. Well, Ter Terracotta Army is a, um, a offensive attack um, wonder, and I guess that helps him with his attacks, but uh, not doesn't provide anything in the way of defense, and neither does the Taj or the uh, Stonehenge. So, um, uh, hopefully I'll be able to... Uh, uh, get through here and uh, get, get the quick victory. And then um, looking at how we'll go through the base after that, if I can get in and, and, and get the job done the way I'd like to, is to um, come around the base uh, probably uh, counterclockwise. Um, so um, I really think that the... Uh, Way to approach the base. I don't like to approach on an angle, so I don't want to come in directly from the north. But I think that coming in um, at about 1:30 uh, ish on the on the, um, right at the uh, command post, basically go through the command post into the uh, town hall area and try to silence uh, the redoubt tower and the um, and the mortar in, in this area here. Um, hopefully be able to get my protect down and um, use sabotage to uh, get these initial defenses quieted um, will be a help to me to keep it to, to, to get in there get the job done and then I can kind of back it out and go around he's got a level 5 hero which I really am not going to be able to prevent from spawning by attacking from the, the um, northeast area, but um, hopefully a level five hero won't cause me too much trouble. Uh, if I try to come in from the south, I've got to go through the fort. That's always tough um, because it's a building that takes a lot to take down. And also, you'll notice there's two series. There's a series of two walls left. One of the things I have to watch out for a little bit here is that I would anticipate a lot of traps and uh, you know, a lot of their um, hidden defenses are gonna be in the area that I'm coming from. But even though that's the case, I still think it's worthwhile to attack from that position. And I think the best way to handle that is try to get my heavies down because they can take the uh, damage and still keep coming and uh, then hopefully get healed up and, um, as I move along. So let's uh, give it a shot and let's see how this goes then. Um, I think my army's in good shape. I've got the betrayal. Um, I don't know if it's really worth carrying a betrayal all the time. I mean, I know there's industrial age bases in this uh, in this alliance, and that could mean a tank or uh, artillery coming out of the town hall, which if I can uh, 
um, grab that, that would be good. Or also just to have in your pocket in case you see that your uh, cannons get separated from your army and all of a sudden there's enemy troops descending on them, the betrayal can turn the tide and save your guns. So in that sense, it's always good to have. Um, but it, uh, um, you have to sacrifice that third sabotage, which can come in really handy, especially toward the end game. Um, so I may um, try to save one of my sabotages and use one to start off with to get that lead mortar closed down. But anyway, um, the usual army that, that you see me use in most of my attacks, the two generals, I have Joan and uh, Nobunaga, um, the heaviest defensive and the heaviest offensive general I have at level 10 anyway. And then um, a total of um, 11 uh, heavies and um, as I and then 12 tercios uh, to uh, provide some shooter power and then I've got uh, more musketeers and fusiliers um, too and again the objective for those are basically if I can catch a bunch of cavalry come in with those fusiliers or a bunch of footmen with the musketeers to try to you know, save the troops, and I like the, the heavy Gatling guns, they're pretty good, and um, uh, they can really chew up a lot of troops as well. So, all right, let's, uh, let's do this attack then, and let's see how it goes. All right, hopefully we'll get through that wall. And there we go. Now I just need to start rolling my army around. Try to get everybody back together. I'm going to take these cavalry right there because they were beaten pretty heavily on my troops. And over here, I think I'm going to take these guys out on a freeze, and that uses up my um, backup stuff. But I think that that will also help to uh, Get me some maximum output there. This isn't really what I had in mind to be in the middle like this. But I don't know that I have much of a choice at this point. At least I have my uh, supply carts basically building my uh, health up of these troops that are going around inside and I do have four cannons going around outside with a bunch of fuzzleweeds with them so I think those troops are in good shape and I think in general the army is looking in, looking like it's um, doing well so we're going to let it stay the course right now um, be patient we have plenty of time left and we are moving in and cleaning up the base nicely. Um, it looks like we've been, we're going to have a three star. Uh, I mean a five star. Um, there's nothing left to clean up on the exterior. And we're uh, just finishing up right now. So, all good. Um, I had a terrible attack with my baby base. I, uh, I had to attack a 
very well developed gunpowder base with my basically medieval group of an 80 foot army in it. I barely squeezed the star off to save some loot, so it feels good to kind of get a five star here and redeem myself a little bit. Anyway, I needed that uh, diamond too because I'm really low. I have no diamonds and uh, I have to, of course, uh, replenish my uh, um, war elephants, the mahouts in my uh, uh, mercenary camps. So uh, five star helps, very close wars. You can see that that attack just tied us up. These guys are actually, if you want to take a quick look at the war report, you can see we've done very well with our higher level attacks. Um, basically our top six, um, only dropping two stars to their top six. Um, where we're not doing as well is in our uh, lower level attacks. These, this uh, um, group that we're fighting, uh, Dominion X, they're um, very strong, um, and I was three-starred by their three. I'll take that. You know, I'm number five, which is an industrial age base. Um, you can take a quick scout on him if you guys uh, don't mind bearing with me a little bit. Um, certainly feel free to turn it off if you're um, not interested. But, um, you know, just looking at this base, he's, uh, um, you know, a pretty strong, pretty strong base. He's got good troops um, and... Um, uh, certainly at the very and, and level 10 um, generals as well so um, certainly he's not coming in light and um, I don't see any um, really um, heavy and in, heavy industrial age troops yet but his troops are certainly maxed out for enlightenment age so giving up a three star to a base like this is not the worst thing in the world and I'll take it every time um, and in any event, uh, just going back and looking, um, these guys are, um, are are fairly strong lower down. Um, they're um, and and they're um, getting their stars too with these strong lower bases. I mean, if you're looking down, you can see that even going down to like um, their number twenty one is in, um, and twenty two are still gunpowder industrial age. Uh, troops and we've got a lot more you know lower level bases medieval age and oh uh, just turning gunpowder type bases so they've they're much stronger across the board and they have more depth in terms of developed bases than we do but um, I think that our strength up top should help to carry us to um, be able to get um, uh, uh, pick up stars low because you know our top players are now going to drop down for their seconds and clean up a lot of these stars that we need and um, I don't know that they'll be able to pick up the same kind of stars up high on us um, that, we, that we've been able to achieve and hopefully that'll make the difference but nonetheless um, you can see that this is quite a um, uh, quite a strong uh, alliance that we're fighting they're doing well with 54 stars and um, just looking at the war report um, They've actually only used uh, um, 12 attacks to our 16. So right now, um, you got to give them the edge. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to come back, as I said, with our strategy of you know having our heavy hitters move down and pick up stars down low to help clean up and close the gap and then open a lead if everything goes well. Anyway, um, there you go. That's the way things stand. A little bit early in the war, but. Um, you know, we have a fight on our hands, no doubt about it. Thanks for watching.